Hello, welcome to Keeping It Classless Labs. Uh, my name is Matt Oswalt, and I'm here to talk to you today about routing information protocol. We, uh, in the past video, we went over static routing, which is a way of telling routers about remote networks that they wouldn't otherwise know about. Um, we we overviewed uh, routers only know about subnets that they're directly connected to so they need to be informed about networks that they're not directly connected to um, and this is done either through static routing which we explored in the last video or through uh, routing protocols and uh, the most basic uh, in in many respects of 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 routing protocols is uh, RIP, which is uh, which stands for routing information protocol now RIP was uh, invented as a distance vector routing protocol. Um, we went over this in a previous video. Um, it is uh, a little less complex than some of the more uh, you know, the, the higher the higher level uh, routing protocols you'll find in, in many Cisco certifications. Um, but it will uh, let us explore uh, dynamic routing protocols and how we can use them on our network. So uh, let's get started. So the topology we're going to be working with today uh, is here. We have three routers, uh, R1, R2, and R3, connected to a central switch. So they're all on the same uh, layer 2 segment there. Um, they do, however, all have their own loopback address to, sim uh, to symbolize a, a remote network. So, you know, R2 would be connected to some other uh, WAN link, perhaps, back here, you know, whatever it is. Um, and then the same thing with, you know, R1 and R3. These are just symbolizing uh, networks on the opposite side of each router so that we can uh, is send routing updates through this uh, internal network from uh, each router to the other two routers so that all three routers will be will be uh, informed of every network that you see here and then the 10.1.1.0 slash 24 network will be what we use to join the three routers together so the directions for this lab are as follows uh, advertise the loopback networks on each router to all other routers and we kind of just went over that. We we want to make sure that all of the routers know about every network, and that's basically what we're going to try to do. And that's the main part of why we use routing protocols is to inform uh, remote routers. Hey, I have this network that you don't otherwise know about, so uh, here you go. And uh, and and that's going to be the good chunk of it. There's a few other things we want to do. That RIP is actually at version two. Um, there's a there's an, another version for IPv6. Believe it or not, they actually ported RIP to IPv6. It's called RIP NG, but that is uh, that is way later. Um, for now, we're we're going to be happy with RIP version two. And uh, finally, disable classful auto summary if necessary. Um, that's probably a little confusing right now. I'm actually going to save that for later. It's best to uh, sh to sh to show you exactly why we do that. Um, it's a it's a powerful tool called summarization uh, which is a way that to improve the efficiency of a routing table um, but it, but actually if you let routing protocols decide it can be harmful um, to your network so we're gonna actually tweak some things so that that doesn't happen so uh, let's uh, let's get into the lab so the first thing we need to do is advertise the loopback networks on each router to all other routers um, I have my topology open here as you saw on the last slide um, the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, turn on RIP, but then also uh, let the routers know we want to uh, enable RIP version two. As you can see in the uh, oops, as you can see in the the directions, um, we need to use RIP version two. So we're actually going to do the first two steps uh, in one shot. So open my topology once more. Uh, we're going to go to router one, enable, configure terminal. And then uh, we're going to actually enter the command router uh, rip. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do things right. Whenever I enter a router, I, I, I run the command uh, show ip int brief. Part of my training, uh, the guy that, that taught me everything basically did this. It, it, gets you, it gives you a sense of, of what, you know, what you're working with so you're not working from memory. And uh, you know, usually when you work from memory on a router, you can cause problems. So this is just a good way to um, you know, familiarize yourself with the environment, especially when you're working on multiple routers like we are. So we have our fast Ethernet 00, 0 interface, which connects us to the other routers, which is that 10 dot network. But we also have the loopback address um, here, and this is the only we're the only router that that knows about this. So we want to publish this to the rest of the routers. So we're gonna do configure terminal. Uh, we're gonna enter the keywords router rip, and then to advertise. Uh, this uh, to to run rip on these interfaces basically uh, you need to enter their IP addresses uh, network 10.1.1.1 and uh, network excuse me 172.16.1.1 
Uh, and then since we need to switch to uh, version 2, uh, we'll do that right now. And you just, in order to do that, you just need to enter the keyword version 2. Perfect. So uh, that's done. And now actually is a good time to show you uh, exactly what got entered into the router when we did that. So if you go down to the section of the running configuration where we entered this, you'll notice that it stripped some of the octets that we entered out. Uh, in particular, these got stripped out because uh, because this is actually a class A address. And uh, RIP is actually a classful routing protocol. So what it did for us is it said, I don't care about these last three because it's got to be a, a class A network. Um, so it's saying I'm going to enable RIP on any interface that starts with 10 dot. And it'll get the job done because ours does start with 10 dot. Um, but this is going to come in a little later when we talk about summarization because it comes back to bite us. Um, and then the same thing here. I'm going to advertise uh, RIP messages out all interfaces with the addresses that start with 172.16. This is class B space, so it, it took the last two octets away from us. So um, we uh, should be good on this router for now. Let's switch over to router 2. If, oops, I accidentally pasted. Let's switch over to router 2 and do the same thing. Show IP int brief. So we've got our 10 dot and we've got our 172 dot. Let's uh, go into global config mode, router rip, and then we'll just uh, we'll just enter this 10 0 0 0 uh, and then network 172.16 at 0 0 and then version 2. And on router 3, enable configure terminal router rip uh, and I forgot my own rule. How about that? Do show IP int brief. All right, here we go. And then we do network 10 0 0 0 network 172 16 0 0 and then version 2. And did I enter version 2 here? Yes, I did. Alrighty, uh, so we, we actually should be good now. We should be sending RIP messages out all uh, each interface. Like I said, um, you're not actually advertising uh, these networks when you enter these network statements. This is something I struggled with when I was studying for my CCNA. Um, you're not actually s publishing this network. You're just you're just saying, I want to run RIP on an interface that has this IP address. And since it's a classful routing protocol, it's saying, I'll run RIP out any interface that contains 172.16.something.something. Um, which it will, and, and that will satisfy our, our requirements. Um, a good way to test is you say exit, and we're going to do a show IP route to see if we're getting any routes, and it looks like we are. Um, we have, looks like two routes, um, but it's to the same network, and uh, this actually leads to what I wanted to uh, go over. Um, Basically, what's 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 happened, and like I said before, RIP is a is a classful routing protocol. It's going to look at each address and determine the class of of IP space that it's using, and then make actions based upon that. Um, and what we're observing here is something called auto summarization. Um, and and to to be honest, I I'm not a huge fan of auto summary. Um, typically, when you whenever you're talking about auto summarization, it, it it basically what what's going on here is it's saying I have two networks. Um, and if you look at the if you look at the the diagram, um, I have two networks that start with one seven two sixteen. Note that we're on R three right now. Yes, we're on R3. Um, so it's saying I have two networks, and they both start with 172.16. See, the 2.1 and then 1.1. Uh, but remember, RIP is classful, so it's not going to worry about these last two octets. We're using a mask that is, representat that is representative of a class C space. So we're actually deviating from the norm, uh, so to speak. Um, and, but you know, RIP is basically screwing us up because we, we don't want to use a class B subnet mask. We want to use a class C subnet mask. Um, so what it's doing is it's taking those two networks and combining them into one network uh, in the routing table um, because it's, it's summarizing back to that class classful boundary, which is which is right here after the second octet. And uh, actually, as a result, um, we can try to ping 172.16.2.1, which is router 2's loop back address. And uh, oh, it looks like it worked that one time. Uh, one of them, one of them probably will work, um, but the other one won't. Yep. So you'll you'll notice that you'll get choppy behavior. Um, in fact, I'm really surprised that the first one worked. I'm, let me uh, try that first one again. Um, Typically, it'll either hit or miss. Um, so I guess that one's working. Um, and uh, yeah. 
So anyway, uh, that's that's bad. Regardless, we we want we want to we want to stop that behavior. Um, fortunately, the fix is pretty easy. We go into global config mode and we say router rip, and we just simply say no auto summary. Back on router two, router rip, no auto summary, and back on router run, router rip, no auto summary. Perfect. Um, now usually this takes a little bit, uh, but we can try it anyway. Um, so we're going to go back to uh, privilege mode and run show IP route to see the routing table once more. And oh, okay, so we actually have both. Um, right now we have the summary route here, uh, which is which is the one that we didn't want in there, but we have uh, broken it up. And actually, it, it works out this way. Um, sometimes it falls behind and, and leaves an old route in there. Um, routing is done based on the more uh, specific prefix. So this prefix actually won't ever be used for the networks that we've set up. Um, and this will get phased out eventually. Um, so this, um, since this is a more restrictive mask, the slash 24, this will be picked over the slash 16, so we won't actually have any problems. Um, and we can verify that by running our pings again. And we can go ping uh, 2.1, 2.1 works, um, and then ping the network for router 1, which is 1.1, and uh, that works. So what we've actually done is we've broken it into two distinct networks that are slash 24s, as opposed to the classful slash 16s, um, which is what RIP was trying to do for us. Um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not completely sure. Uh, uh, you know, I, I've I've heard and used um, auto summarization occasionally, um, but a lot of the times when you're in these routers and you're actually working with with constructing a, a, a plan for how your network routes traffic, it, it, I I feel like it's a little more uh, efficient and and. Well, to be honest, a detailed design to actually, you know, do summarization yourself. And actually, uh, routing protocols like OSPF and EI Grip make it pretty easy to do summarization. Um, it's manual, but it, it, you actually have a lot more control over it, and I feel like that's a useful thing to have, especially when you're doing routing. Um, so that's uh, that's our video. Uh, what we did is we we looked at this topology and we advertised all of these networks uh, to all other routers, and we you know we demonstrated that we can ping from router three uh, all the way over to router uh, one, uh, two and one, um, and that's because we used RIP to uh, send the routing information to all the other routers. We used RIP version two. Um, it should be noted that there are more features than just this in RIP version two. You can actually do some cool stuff like uh, you can do uh, authentication, and it's actually uh, it's a, it's be it, it's better than than version one because it's a little more feature rich. Um, but it's you know it's still good old RIP. And then uh, we finally looked at auto summarization. It's kind of a complex topic, and I'm not really trying to hammer down summarization as a concept because it's not really important for at this level. Um, but it is an important thing to realize when you're using networks that uh, are, are using subnet masks different from their class uh, designation um, because auto summary will come to bite you in the butt. Uh, I hope this has been informative of you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.